Hi guys, Grant from Grant Ford Fitness and I'm here this afternoon with a quick video on the importance of the curvature of your spine, um, what an ideal neutral spine is or what your neutral spine should um, be looking like and why it's important to keep a neutral spine when you're lifting things, especially with deadlifts, rows, squats, things like that. Um, what we'll do, we'll talk about what a neutral spine is, uh, and then we'll show you a couple of drills that will help you understand how to achieve it um, without load and then how you can transfer that into your lifting. So the first thing we're going to look at is your natural curve of your spine. So everyone has a curve of their spine. Everyone has an S curve of their spine. So coming up from the pelvis, um, coming up through your lower back, your spine curves in through your lumbar region or lower back, comes up, then up through the rib cage and up to your neck, you've got your thoracic spine, where it starts to curve back the other way. And then coming up into your cervical spine, right around your neck, you start to curve back here. So you're coming in through your neck, out through your shoulders and upper back, then curving back in through here. Okay, now if you've got a nice neutral spine, so your ideal posture, when you're in this kind of position, again, you have three points of contact. You have a point of contact with the stick that's going straight up and down at the base of your spine, between your shoulder blades and the back of your head. Okay, and we'll be able to fit a hand through here and a hand through here. Yeah, okay. Um, again, for lots of different reasons, people's postures get out of whack and you have um, different alignments with your spine curves. So basically, when your spine is neutral, um, the vertebrae are lining up and the forces are transferred through your spine, they're keeping the discs in between the, the, the vertebrae nice and safe. Yeah? When I flex my spine, or flex my lower spine, um, the vertebrae move like this. Okay? So all the forces come towards the front of it and push the discs that way. If I extend too far through my lower spine, so I'm arching this way, then what I'm doing is putting my vertebrae into this position, and then all the forces are pointing, are pushing the discs that way. Now ideally, you want to keep that lumbar spine, this lower back region, which is so problematic for people, um, in this neutral position. So the, the, your vertebrae might not be exactly like this, but they're lined up so that when there is a load or something movement, your discs aren't moving around. There's no force pushing things out of the way. What you see a lot of the time with people when they're squatting or deadlifting is this rounding through the lower back. And as your lower back rounds, if you've got a weight on you or you're trying to lift and support, then force is, is pushing your disc that way. You see lots of um, herniated discs, uh, you get lots of pain with it, the disc pops out and pushes against nerves, which is generally something you want to avoid. So it's really important that you understand how to achieve a neutral spine and then how to carry that onto your lifting. So what we're going to do now, we'll go through a couple of drills where you can see how you achieve a neutral spine. So the first drill is really, really easy. Yeah, you're going to use the floor, which is nice and flat, to give you the support for your neutral spine. Okay? So you're going to get yourself close to the wall, go to about a 90 degree position with your knees, you're going to lie down, make sure the back of your head is touching the floor, your chin is tucked down, and you're pushing your ears away from your shoulders. From there, all you're going to do, push your pelvis down, Put your hand on the small of your back so you can fit just about your hand through there. And then from there, what I'm going to do is relax and I'm in a neutral spine position. The floor is keeping in that position. Okay? I don't want to be up in here where my head is pointing back and my cervical spine is massively extended. I don't want to be really, really up through here so I can fit two or three hands there. That's not a neutral spine. From here again, I'm pushing my bum down into the floor. Again, pushing my shoulders down to the floor. Stretching the back of my neck up. Chin down as if I was holding an orange, and then I can fit just about my hand under there. That's my neutral spine. If I get in there now, and I breathe deep into my belly, I can feel that my lower back starting to push against the floor, I can feel my belly expand, and I can get into this position. That's the first stage in achieving this on your own. As you get more comfortable with it, what you can do is move yourself closer to the wall, push your feet in as close to your bum as you can, and again, push your knees out whilst you're doing the same things. So your hips are pushing down into the floor. Again, you've got that little arch through here. You can just about fit your hand under there and you keep with this elongated spine. From there again, you can start pushing your knees out and really start working those ranges, feeling where you're tight. If you're tight in your thighs, if you're tight in your hips, where the problem is. And over time, you get closer and closer to the wall from here and here. Yeah, now again, we're pushing our knees out, working for that neutral spine head elongated and come through here. And what you'll see from the side is this is pretty close to a squat position. Yeah, with a neutral spine. So just spend a couple of minutes at the start of a training session working in that position if you'll be working squats. Okay, so the next progression 
is to take that from a lying down position into a standing up position. But again, we're going to use something to support, to give us a cue for what our new spine is, is going to look like or feel like. We use the wall. So from here, we're going to start here in a wall spot. Again, to get, start off, get yourself to about this 90 degree position. You push your chin down, back of the head against the wall, shoulders against the wall, pushing your bum against the wall. So down, from just about, take my, my hand, push your knees apart, drive your heels into the ground, hold it there. Okay, you hold that for time. Again, as you get there, you see how as soon as I relax, I want to come away. So I'm fighting for this neutral spine position. Again, hold it for as long as you can, spend a couple of minutes at the start of your training session. As you get better, come down lower. Again, get your feet in closer to the wall. Drop your hips down onto your feet and work into here. Again, elongating through the neck, elongating through the shoulders, shoulders back, hips back against the wall. Again, I can fit a hand just about in that gap. I'm not massively arched, but I'm not rounding and coming away from it. Again, as you get better, bring your feet right close to the wall. Drop your hips down. Get down as low as you can. So you're pretty much sitting on your heels, keeping that neutral spine. Again, the more you can push your, your knees out and apart, the easier it's going to be to drop your hips between your feet and maintain that neutral spine. So again, Sitting there a couple of minutes, start our training session, working what you need to work on, feeling what's tight, feeling what's relaxed, and getting a feel for it against the wall with some support. And then the final progression is to do it without any support. Okay? So again, get yourself where you've got a mirror or you can see yourself in a camera, get yourself in your squat position, get down as low as you can. Now you can see there straight away how my back is rounded there. So what I'm then going to do is force myself back into that neutral spine position where I'm pushing my hips back, shoulders back, head back into this neutral spine, and you will see in that position my hips are below me, uh, below my knees, my upper back is pretty much parallel to my shins, and I'm in a nice squat position. Okay, and that is how I'm maintaining, or how I should feel when I'm going into my um, neutral spine position before I squat, before I deadlift. Before I bend over over, before I lift anything heavy, I'm looking to achieve that neutral spine. So once more, down nice and low, get yourself into your lowest squat you can, and then push your hips back, chest up, bring your shoulders back, chin down, and that should be a nice neutral spine position. Again, I can push my knees out, really work, again, as low as I can, maintaining that neutral spine. And that, guys, Again, three easy drills. You can progress from the floor to the wall to your feet and start working on keeping that neutral spine, which will carry across into lifting, but also give you a better upright posture. All right, guys, see you next time.